Hey there, I'm the Holder Fire Familia. Welcome to another Narjan Reacts. And this will be my reaction to the new teaser for Murder Drones Episode 7 called Final Destination. Um, and yes, as you can see, I am decked out in Murder Drones merch. I got my V t shirt. I was actually going to wear um, the N and Uzi t shirt, but unfortunately, that got delivered to the wrong house. And uh, I have not heard back from uh, Glitch's. Uh, store uh help desk so glitch if you somehow watch this video please check thanks i've sent like three emails <laughs> i really want my n and uzi shirt um or at least a refund but anyway um yeah this this teaser um just so you guys know off the bat i've really tried to avoid as much spoilers as possible with it i've seen like i've seen like two or three things um one of them is an image of uzi with like the solver symbol another one is uh no you're not coming up here i'm not summoning you you brat um and i don't want you getting hair on the shirt um then the other is a single frame of like a dog which i'm not surprised liam and his love for dogs of course he would put that in there um listen 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 this is not the time for schmoozy if i if i cry or something and something happens then yeah go go right ahead um and you just made me lose my train of thought. Uh, anyway, yeah, I've avoided like 98% of the stuff from this teaser, even though it's only 33 seconds. I'm, I know there's like a lot in it that they pack in. Um, oh God, there was something else I wanted to say, but I lost. Dang it, Hal, you distracted me. Um, oh my God. Uh, oh, that's what it is. Okay. Um, I am going to do my best to watch through this without pausing, which is going to be very hard for me. I might pause if something like, insane happens in this teaser and I need to pause the process but other than that um I will do my best to not pause and then the second watch through because I will watch through this again um I will analyze it and go through like frame by frame kind of thing so you guys get to kind of see how I do my analyzation stuff like sort of kind of you get the idea anyway yeah um God, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> so, like, okay, I, I may I remain calm with the majority of the things that Glitch uh, was posting for murder drones and stuff. And it, while I didn't freak out if they didn't, I was actually kind of hoping they would delay this episode so I'd have longer to um, work on the things I noticed videos, uh, especially for, like, the teasers and everything. But, you know what, two weeks out, that's not bad. So, um, but yeah, I I still get, like, I'm not, okay, I'm not shaking, shaking, but, like, I still get very excited <laughs> For murder jones stuff but anyway let's watch this and try to not um pause too much uh, yeah okay <sighs> i swear to god if anything gets confirmed in this teaser that i have theorized or or like mentioned or something i'm going to freak <sighs> we're good, we're good. oh we're starting right off with I'm not gonna pause, I'm not gonna pause really. Okay, so that's where they left off with V. Okay, so that's the cavern. Help. Eva. There's more names, there's the cavern. Skulls. Cabin fever logo. Cathedral. Entrance. Flash. Broken screens. Oh, there's a hole. So they've changed it now from episode seven and eight to just episode seven. All right, that went by fast. Holy, that was 30 seconds. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, good. Noth Stop. So nothing really super major was he held long for a shot. It was mostly just, um, what is it? There were like fast flashes of things. I think that's where it's gonna be major stuff or more important things. It's not these shots, even though this is a pretty important shot. Okay. Entering and analyzation mode. Um. Okay, so this is obviously the corridor that we left off in April, uh, I thought it was April 6th, in episode 6, where we left off with V being up there and the elevator snapping. So, that's not the blood, that's not the blood that Tessa flung at the, um, Sentinels. That looks like oil. That looks like, and there's also no sign of V's body. And we know the Sentinels leave a mess. Like, when um, we saw that drone in Episode 6 in the beginning when she got killed, they pretty much just shred them apart where they 
die. Like where they kill them. So there should be pieces of V somewhere. And we also see there's a dead sentinel. When there were the, no sentinels were killed in episode six, but there's a dead one there. That's a trail. That's got to be a trail of oil. So I really think I already. Okay. I know a lot of the fandom was hoping V wouldn't be dead, but I was like pretty certain she wasn't because from the beginning of um, ever since I saw episode six uh, and started getting into like the analyzation of things with Mara Jones and stuff, um, I thought it was weird how it ended because if you're familiar with Liam's works, previous works, he's not afraid to kill off characters at all. And, but usually when he does kill characters off, they're, it's pretty, it's on screen and it's pretty brutal. So I'm like, it's weird that he didn't show V being killed and they just left it off. And also the way V kind of like gave up was odd to me too, because V seemed like the kind of character who would have gone down fighting tooth and nail, not just, you know, salute and be like, bye, I'll let them shred me to pieces. Like she felt like the kind of person that would have let them go, but then fought like to the death to stay alive. So I, she didn't seem like the kind of person that would just accept death and just be like, okay, kill me. Um, so, and, and there were other ways for V to come back as well, even if she did get killed by the Sentinels, like there's the possible, cl her clone. Um, there's, uh, she could come back as an Eldritch monster thing, like Hollow Spooky Snake Crab J did, uh, which that was, okay, would I rather her be dead or turn into that? I don't know. I, I like, I didn't want her to turn into a hollow spooky snake crab because then having to watch, having to see her and possibly N and, v, N and Uzi fight her would have been really hard. Uh, so would I have rather her have been dead dead? Probably, yeah. Um, but I really felt that she would still be alive because either there'd be a clone of her or Jay was going to come down and save her. Which, now that we've seen the merch leaks, leaks uh, for episode 7, there were three items for J. You got the J keychain. Okay. I'm going to have to put, like, before this, I'm going to say spoilers and stuff, because I'm going to talk about things that were not not leaked. Like, the merch stuff was leaked, but I think that was by Glitch's own hands, and then everyone just kind of, in the fandom, spread it. Um, so I'm not, like, talking about leaks of the episode itself or anything, but um, I will put a spoiler warning for those who don't want it, who have been able to avoid the, the merch leaks. Um, but there are three items that to do with J. You have the J keychain, the J plushie, and then you have the J.C. Jensen pen, which I personally associate to, uh, with J because she was the one who had it on her. Sure, she gave it to N after, but uh, she not only had it on her, she also Uzi flung it at her and hit her in the headband with it. So I associate it with J. So that to me is three items or merch items that have to do with Jay, and I think that's hinting to Jay being in episode seven. And if that's the case, I think Jay does come down and say V, especially with this now, this shot being no, there being no sign of V and possibly they fought because you do have the dead sentinel and the trail of oil. So my guess is what's going to happen is Jay saves V, but V might be so severely injured that that's where the trail of oil is from. And maybe V needs to recover. So Jay leaves her up there and goes down to help Tessa and an Uzi. Probably not really to help Uzi or N. I think Tessa, I mean, I think Jay only cares about Tessa. So probably go down and just help Tessa. Um, and if that's because I wonder how injured V would be. Would be, V be so injured that she, uh, I mean, you can, she can still be alive. And so she, I mean, if she's still alive, then she won't turn into the, El the Eldritch whole spooky snake crap thing. She would have to be completely like obliterated for it to her program, the or the solver program in that to activate in her. So, no, I think that's their way of keeping V out of the picture for now. She's probably just very badly injured. Yeah, that's that's what I'm feeling with this shot. <laughs> okay, so you got this. I don't think this is that. I don't think this is what the inside of that, uh, you know, there's the entranceway with the goopy fleshy stuff. Um, 
and everything. But there were there were pickaxes off to the side, so I wonder if that does lead to this on. But I feel like with that being covered with all that fleshy, goopy red stuff, I feel like the inside of here would also be there's. It would be weird if just the entrance is covered, because this solver flesh stuff doesn't look like it would only cover. It would like engulf this. Um. So I wonder where this is. Could this be where the elevator drops? And it's so weird that this is what the underground of the labs look like. Like, you go from a facility in an elevator that looks like... You would expect the elevator to take you down to a facility, like an, an actual labs, like what you see in, um, like, let's say Resident Evil, where it's, like, white marble flooring or tile flooring, hallways and stuff. Like, this... It's weird. It's, like such polar opposites you have such a like oh this is so weird okay so they got this okay so they got they got an old tv you got oh is somebody a gamer down there just kidding. um yeah that's it that's it no because even even the computers in episode six that we see in the in the um, office area. They're, they're also like old style computers, which is weird to me. If this is based in the late 2000s to early 3000s, because I don't remember how many years it's been since the collapse, because we know it's 30, 71 or 73 currently for them. So I don't know how long it's been since the collapse. I know it's been at least 10 years or more. But this late to mid 2000s ones would still, or mid, like, I mean, literally mid 2000s, like 2500. That's we're already past this point of computers. So why are they using such like old tech? So weird. Are you gonna? Oh, you. Oh, you guys are little schnutz. You don't. You don't. Hold on. So you guys don't show the. You don't show. The, a clearer shot of this. All right, well, we see, I could see something in the background that says help. What is that? What is behind the help? It looks like another painting of something or whatever. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 that's a paint, that's not a painting. It's a photograph of two drones. I see they're, they're the pair of eyes up top behind the help above it. Those are two drones. And yeah, I, I see there, here, let me see. Because I think, yeah, you guys can see my mouse. Um, there's their feet. You got their legs. There's their torsos. You got the heads. Why would there be a photograph of two drones in what looks like a grand office space? Like, this looks like a fireplace. I can't tell what that is at all. But why are there two drones? Could these be? <laughs> JC Jensen and a secretly founded by a couple of drones. No, because um, they're the ones that made the drones, so that wouldn't make sense. Um, but unless there's humans behind these two drones. But who are these two drones? I, they don't have any recognizable features, so. And they put help. That's gotta be drones that did that, right? Not humans that wrote help. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so you got this one, which is interesting. You got different names, too. So, I'm pretty certain this one down here, the one, two, three, four, fourth one in, I think I see 002, and it has, like, the double tag. And so, I'm sure that's Nori's. Um, but, so you got Yiva. Eva has stars and flowers on hers. Do not disturb. I find it funny that I think Nori's also has do not disturb. It's interesting that the, both of them have, like, do not disturb on it. Zero to four. Is that Tass? It's not Tessa. Wouldn't that be interesting if it said Tessa? But no, it looks like T-A-S-S. -S. Could it be a, could, could Tass be like a play on Tessa? Like a different, hmm. 024. 024. I feel like that sounds familiar, but not enough. Um, can't read. Maybe 09? Because you got 02. Like, I could barely make out the two for Nori's. Can't see anything beyond that. 
Okay, so this is a better shot of that fleshy, goopy entrance that we saw in the original teaser. Oh my god. Oh, Liam, Liam, <laughs> Liam's going off. Liam is finally getting to be in his element, which is horror, like body horror and stuff, which he hasn't really been able to do with the drone. Like, he has, but drones automatically make it not as gory as if it was humans with the blood and stuff and skeletons. And yeah, he's going all out for this. And I'm happy to see it. Like, Liam is very good at that stuff. Um, I'm not noticing anything, like, that stands out other than it just being gross dead bodies. Wait, has it been, has stuff been moved or? Something happens here. No. Okay, something happens here because, um, in the original teaser, I mean, unless things have changed, don't get me wrong, that was a few months ago, so, I mean, they could have changed the scene. But if they haven't, going based off that, um, or going based off that assumption, this one we got in the original teaser, the lantern here, I'm pretty sure it was laying on the ground, and this skeleton that's holding the lantern up, like, that's fallen over, like, that's gone. And also, the rock, because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty certain this is also where N gets dragged into, um, and there's no rock that, or some think it's Uzi's beanie. I don't think so. I think it's just a rock. Um, that is right. Like, because in the original teaser, you can kind of see, like, in the opening shot, there's, like, a little, there's, like, a rock there that looks like the same one that N grabs in the other shot. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah. This is, this has got to be before something happens that knocks the lantern over. Possibly. Which would make sense, because if N gets dragged into it... Um... God. This is going to definitely become a longer video. <laughs> but you guys are know what you're in for when you're watching a reaction of mine when it comes to murder drones. Okay, so there's like... Oh, God. Is there any flashes, by the way? Is there anything like that flashes by there? I don't think anything does. Yeah, nothing flashes by her. All right. What is in there? What is in there? Like, what? what is after that? And then you got the Cabin Fever logo. And you know what's interesting is... This skull symbol? The Cabin Fever logo single symbol? Like, in episode 5, since I've been analyzing it to death, um, I noticed that on Uzi's backpack that she wore, her bat, bat pack from episode 4, it has this skull symbol on it. And I'm wondering, like, I mean... Like, and it's not, like, something she drew on there. It looks like something that's actually part of the backpack design. So I'm kind of curious now. I wonder... I wonder if Uzi got that backpack from her... Like, was that her mom's? Or... I don't know. That's weird. That really just went with the design. It's interesting. Hmm. Is there anything in that flash? Hmm? And the heartbeat going faster, but this is, and I know it's going to go even faster. I can't, man. Okay. Is there any flashes here that I notice? We got like gravestones. This is so weird. Like, why is, why is there a cathedral like this with gravestones down here? I'm kind of wondering, could this have been teleported from somewhere? Because there's... Why have this down here? And this is... Was, unless this was already... Like, who built this cathedral? Was it the humans? Was it drones? Hmm. And I'm pretty certain that's the door that we see Yiva and Nori stand in front of that's open in that one teaser image. Okay, calm down, calm, slow, holy, Jiminy Christmas. Okay, I'm just gonna go frame my frame because this goes by really fast with this. Come on, we're getting to it. Okay, 
No, yeah, that's that that's definitely the door that Eva and Nori were standing in front of in that teaser image. What is behind the, what what is and why is there like a golden light behind it? Okay, we know the solver is associated with the color yellow, so could this be actually the home base? This is You know what I wonder? We're seeing like uh I like church setting that any news you're in and stuff that are that's very dark and like red and everything. I'm wondering if that is before this. I wonder if that leads to this. Could this could this be like the heart of the cathedral? Like this is the main building? I don't know. Cause this like for it to be so bright and yellow, it feels like this would be the heart of it. Maybe. That or this is the entrance, so it looks all grand and pretty and everything, but then as you go deeper, it gets more gorg like goopy fleshy stuff and everything oh my god i know there's flashes so i'll go slow from now on not to be over dramatic but core collapse that reminds me of episode one <laughs> reminds me of the uh the that flash that not flash by it because it was on screen for a bit but that um um it was. It had to do with the core collapse. Oh my god, what was it? It was like a joke too. Like I'm glad they're carrying that over where it's like a play. Like oh, not to be over dramatic, but core core collapse. Oh, what was it? Episode five, I can remember things, but like episode one, I haven't seen watched in a bit. Um, god, what what was it about the core collapse? Uh, you know what? It's okay. It, 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 my mind's lost in episode five for now, but um, not to, but yeah, I'm glad to see that they kind of are carrying that humor, which of course they would. It's it, it, okay. We may have waited like seven months for this episode, but considering they've been working on this episode, at least from what Kevin and them said, that they've been working on this for since last year, I believe, like beginning of last year. So they've been working on this episode for a long time. Like they've really put their all in this episode, and just from like the teaser images and the trailers we've seen. The animation alone, it feels very cinematic. Like this feels very, this almost feels like if it was a movie. Like if Murder was turned into a movie, this is the quality I would expect it to be at. Um, but yeah, so the the joke. I'm not surprised they've kept to the joke. Wait, what was that flash? Okay, that's just an error thing. I don't think it's meant to mean anything for now. Okay, now you you. Okay, so you got. Hmm. We had in the teaser, the first teaser, we had those shots of like N and Uzi, where like one moment, one shot, Uzi's back was to the red light, and then we had another shot of N's back to the red light, and then that flooring. The flooring, from what I can tell, is the same one we see where Nori in episode six was like looking at the cam like looking at the camera and goes like this, and then the tentacles come out and attack it. This looks like the same flooring. This also looks like the flooring from the first teaser where Anna and Uzi freak out and run a hug and then the one um, where N goes to help Uzi up and then she snaps his hand back and stuff. I'm wondering if this is the spot. Is this the room? It's got that bright red light and it would make sense because you have that shot of N and Uzi both looking back because they hear something. So if something comes from here, if something comes out of this or whatever, or they hear something in here, this wouldn't make sense. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to see if I'm noticing any movement. Also, I remember when the original teaser came out, or the first teaser came out, every, like, I saw so many comments of people saying that they felt that the these lanterns were, like, V's headlights. <laughs> and no offense to you guys, I was like, I could tell immediately it was just lanterns, um, but like somebody, I, like okay, I know you guys really want want V to be alive, and I'm pretty certain she is. But like everyone was so desperate for her to be alive, they were just like yellow lights. It's gotta be V, right? Because <laughs> N's in the shot, so it can't be N, and it wouldn't be J, so it's gotta be V, right? V's alive, right? <laughs> but no, I, like yeah, it's it's the lanterns, and now you can see them more clearly. Um. That's a moonlight. That's is that a spine against the window? On the left side over here, is that a is this a spine or is this like just a flesh thingy? Interesting. This is a computer. 
Oh, is that the... Wait, is that the one that said the core collapse? We got it for that brief moment. Wait, was it earlier? Wait, where'd it go? Okay, you got the caution thing, and then there's two sentences after. So I think this is it. I think that's I think that's the caution core collapse. But why is the computer down there? Yeah, I'm pretty certain that's it. But why is again, why is it down there? Wait, 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 wait. See now those You know what that looks like? You know what these you know what at least on here, this one you can't see as well because of the darkness and stuff. But you know what this looks like? This looks like um, episode four when N went into that cabin, and it had like the console or whatever with the monitor screens. This look now see this looks more like more current technology, like more later on technology, not like the old style monitors that they're they've been showing. This looks more like in line with it. And if they've got two, if they've got two consoles here on either side, were they observing the activity here? Because we know they were running tests on the drones above, but what were they doing down below? Like, was this down here the whole time and they were observing it? And you know, if there were humans here, we haven't really seen a lot of skeletons, like, as if they died from the collapse. There's quite a bit of skeletons mixed in with the goop, so I wonder if the solver ate them. The humans that were down here and the humans maybe that were in the office space. Maybe not in the office space, but down here at least because they were so close to this. I wonder if they got eaten and became the goop. And that's why you see like in that the earlier shot. No, no, not earlier shot. Um, like this shot, you're seeing skeletons, ribs, like a full-on skeleton here and skulls and stuff. I wonder if they got eaten. Which makes sense. Okay, so you got that. Interesting. Yeah, there's even more bones and stuff, but some look bigger than he they look too big to be human. And this right here, the hole, it almost looks like really large rib bones coming out of it, like really large. I'm really wondering, is the solver trying to become like a some kind of organic f monster? It's definitely feeling very, like, uh, we already felt eldritch, but this is feeling even more so. <laughs> I see an X. <laughs> this is in my drones. Um. No. Uh. Yeah. This is the heart of it. Oh, God. Oh, Liam, you are having fun now, aren't you? <laughs> when he, when Liam went during Glitch Axe and he goes, uh, uh, you guys are gonna have a fun time with, like, this, the goopy, fleshy stuff. Or he, goes, he, or he was like, I hope you ha I hope you like, uh, flesh tunnels. <laughs> he, 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 oh, he knew. Oh, Liam. Love your work, man. <laughs> This is just, this screams Liam. Oh, the man is in his element now. Okay, whoa, whoa, wait. Oh, we're getting like a side angle of the cathedral. Is that red lightning? Is it red? Is it salt, uh, is it salt we're gonna go from yellow to red? Cause red is associated so far with like Okay, for the drones, red was associated with, like, fatal error, that kind of stuff. But I wonder if now, if it goes from yellow to red to signify, like, the change in from a machine to organic, like, blood and things. And also, why why is there atmosphere, or, like, wh how are how is there able to be lightning inside a cavern? Okay, is there, like, a hole above? Is there, like, a hole to the surface above? I can't really tell. I see what it looks like maybe, like up in here, it looks like maybe like a cable or a wire, possibly. But you can see the clouds, so there's atmosphere in here for it, but how? 
something making it? It's raining too. Wait, so it's raining too. How is there a thunderstorm? How is there a thunderstorm in a cave? Could this be a flash? Wait. No, this is still that cavern. I was gonna say, maybe this is where the cathedral was before it got teleported? But this looks different. I mean, this is a different angle because the shots we see of it up front are probably like around here, like in the middle area up, but this is from like the far right. So I wonder, could this be a completely different, like, could, could this be the cathedral before it was down here or is this like just a different angle shot? Ugh. Man, this is where the stuff I think speak. Oh, hello tentacle, solver tentacles. What are you going to grab? Oh, this is coming out of a hole. This is coming out of the hole with a rib-like thing sticking out of it. So I'm wo I'm wondering, is this where the main part of the solver is? Is this where the, like, okay. I point out in my things I noticed videos a couple times where you see like a giant black orb ball thing, and then you see a bunch of tentacles and stuff coming out of it. I wonder if that's like the core, like the main part of the solver, like some kind of eldritch thing. And I wonder if it's down here being fed. And I, could this be the solver before, like, we see, like, what happened, at least if it's not, if that wasn't faked, but the video of Earth being destroyed and it's just, like, the black hole and stuff. I wonder if this is the form the solver takes before it reaches that form and destroys the planet. But right now it's, like, in a phase where it needs to consume and gain material so it could do that. So that's why it's, like, all this flesh and machine and... I mean, right now, actually, it's not a lot of machinery. It's just a lot of organic matter. So I wonder. Oh, hey, Ann. Boy, my boy! You look like- You look like so anxious, Ann! <laughs> He's just- Is this- Are his- Oh, wait, his eyes are going from white- Oh, he went from- Oh. He went from concerned to, like, like- What ha What are you doing with your eyes? Hey, we haven't seen these kind of faces on and and stuff like looking this scared. Wait, what? I was right. There are humans down there. I was right. Nah, they all got eaten. They all got nah. They all got eaten. There's no, there's no way they were, <sighs> unless they did die from the core collapse and then their bodies were consumed by the solver after. Wait, is Ensign possibly a flashback? No, because then how would he? He wasn't down here at the time. He was at the mansion. Hmm. So you got the Cabin Fever logo up there. Wait, this, no, wait, that's not the Cabin Fever logo. Wait, no, it is. Okay, I see the trees off to the side. Okay, so it is. Never mind. Um, it almost looks like, is that someone up there that looks like they're wearing almost like a priest hat? Or not a priest hat. Is it a priest? No, not a priest. Um, oh my god. Pope. Like, like Pope Francis, like it looks like that top hat. I'm sorry, I don't know what it's called, um, but it looks like that hat. Because one of my theories is that that there is a cult worshiping the solver. Like the like this whole thing was a facade to research it and stuff, and they actually were like worshiping it. But I will say here, they do look like they're researching, which is what I said earlier in this video, where I said that they, which you can still see, are those uh pan those consoles. So I'm like, I wonder if, and this is where that big hole is now. So I'm wondering, maybe they didn't worship it, but they were studying it. Is that person moving back there? I don't think they are. Oh, hi, Uzi. Um, okay, so they were, there were humans down there. This is either, they had to be worshiping it. Hmm, interesting. But so, it's so weird. Who built this cathedral? Like, this hat, was this here before these guys, these humans? Cause it just seems so weird to me that such futuristic, like humans being so far in the future would build a cathedral like this to test uh, like drones with the solver. Like why, unless the solver told them that's what it needed or something. Maybe did the solver communicate with them and say it needed this built? I don't know. This is so, like, what is... I'm so curious what the explanation is going to be for this. Like, if this was here prior to the humans that that inhabited Copper 9. Uh, is this an old civilization? 
uh, or was this built after? Like, were they influenced by the solver? And also you have this, who's this here? Why are we getting a point of view of like this uh, person here? Or in this mask? This is from their point of view. I don't think it's, it's, I can't see it being N Uzi or somebody like dressed up as a human. This has gotta be like from their viewpoint. Interesting. So you got Uzi here with the solver symbol. I mean, and she's frowning. I'm not really scared of that because we've seen her with it. I'm more, what is she standing in front of though? It's interesting they've gone with so much red. No yellow for, sol for it to be solver. Like the solver is just known, like yellow is the solver color. So it's interesting they've gone red here. And what is flashing in front of you? Could this be? Could this be when she's, could this be after she's like from, we saw that gif of like her standing alone in front of the, uh, cathedral entrance or the entrance to the room in the cathedral to like the whatever so could this be after could this be her like becoming the host fully or something else what the fuck is that is that wait 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 wait, wait. is that is that all right hold up all right this is this uh, this was gonna be a theory I was gonna hold for episode six, um, for my things I noticed for episode six. But because I highly highly doubt I'm gonna get to that before episode seven comes out, and this is for episode seven because I thought if anything like this happens, it will be for episode eight. But if this is happening in episode seven and there's oil, and stuff. This reminds me of something I theorized, because in episode six, I noticed that um. Each time uh, the camera zooms in on, like, focuses in on Tessa's face or helmet, um, there is a bell that's rung. There's a, a bell ring each time, and, it, and there's four times is what uh, you hear the bell four times. Um, well, I felt that signified something, so I looked it up, and it has to do with the oh, what is it called? Oh my god, I'm blanking on it. Um, I forgot what the Sanctus bells. It has to do with Sanctus Bells. Um, and uh, pretty much with the Sanctus Bells, what it means when it rung, is rung a fourth time uh, it has to do with the Catholic faith. Um, is that, I'm, I might be remembering this not word for word, so I'm sorry if I don't. But pretty much it's that when a person consumes, I think it's a wafer. And what is it? Okay, you know what? Actually, I'm going to... Hold on. I need you to. Uh, I'm actually gonna borrow because I googled it and found it on a website. But then Murphy, aka Cake the Third, who I had a talk with, um, to theorize and stuff. Uh, he he summed it up better because he's Catholic uh, than the website did. But pretty much it's um, during Mass, Catholics eat a wafer aka communion bread and some wine it represents the body and blood of jesus uh but specifically for the catholic faith it is believed that the bread and wine literally become flesh and blood inside of you after you eat it um which ties into the drones being like possibly like turn or not possibly but like they're turning organic like we see uzi cough up blood or red goop in the end of episode six after she uh, gets possessed by sin slash the solver and says miss me to end she coughs up blood slash goop the red goopy stuff so she's possibly turning organic from the inside uh we see the disassembly drones are like a mix of machine and organic matter um so that lends to that whole thing but when it comes to tessa and why i think the bell was wrong four times while focusing on her face is another thing that was brought up on the sanctus bells was that um the i think it was the priest will offer up the chalice of precious blood so i wonder if in this case the precious blood is actually precious oil and could it be that it could be uzi's precious oil and could tessa 
be offering that up to the solver as a sacrifice. Cause here it looks like it 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 looks like oil is actually flowing upwards, not downwards. Like So I wonder, could it be because Uzi's turning like organic on the inside possibly? Could it be a mixture of oil and blood becomes the precious blood slash oil? Offering to the solver? What else? Like Whoa, 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 okay, okay, okay. I didn't mean to unclick that. I am so sorry. I am sorry. I didn't mean to, un, you know, unpause. I didn't think you would suddenly rapid fire me with screenshots or frames. Okay, so this is this going up. No, it's not held long enough for be able to tell, but it does from the way that it's trailing up. Where it's, and this is, this is not upside down. So yeah, this is flowing upwards. What is going on here? And what is, what's here? Like what's in the foreground here? I can't tell. I can't tell what that is. And here you got Tessa. Is that her sword? I don't think that is Tessa's sword. That looks different. Hold up. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at this real quick. Is this- is that Tessa's sword? I don't think it is. Uh, best way to tell is just- let me do this. Where is your sword, Tessa? Oh, it is. Okay, maybe it- You got the rounded- okay, yeah, no, that's her sword. Yeah, that's her sword. Okay. You're standing in front of Uzi. I'm telling ya, I said that I think that, I think that whole thing with the bell being rung with may have been a warning that Tessa m might be working for the solver or something, because I have felt sussy of Tessa, current Tessa, since episode six. Just her whole thing in episode six felt very suspicious. Like, young Tessa, whatever, like that, that, that. Some of her things in episode six or five were suspicious, but some of it were explained off by Liam, like in terms of her like shadow design and her eyes um, and that kind of stuff. But some things were still suspicious that I'll, I'll bring up in the things I noticed video for it. But for current Tessa in episode six, between her constant repetition of I'm human, I am human, that has always felt weird to me. I don't care that she, in when she was younger, Whatever, she, if she only had interactions with robots or the drones, sure, whatever, she she probably was not that great at interacting with, you know, socializing with humans. Maybe that's why she spoke the way she did. But now, since she supposedly works for J.C. Jensen as a technician, she should have plenty of experience with humans now. And she's probably in her mid to late 20s compared to her early teens when she was younger in episode 5. So she should have plenty of experience with humans to the point that she would not be so... I'm a human. Oh, watch out for the human kind of thing. It's almost like she's, tr it's like it's almost like she's trying to put on a facade. Um, and I just, what if she's going to sacrifice Uzi to the solver? Cause we still, you know what? We still don't know what happened to the young Tessa. Like we have that one like shot of her like sitting in front of the, uh, sitting in front of the uh, the gala room. Like, it shows her redacted, but she's, like, sitting there crying and stuff. Like, we don't know what happened to her after that. Sure, there were humans there, and they could have saved her and, you know, had her come work for J.C. Jensen, but... we it's, it's That's not confirmed. We, ha we have no idea what happened to young Tessa. Could they have used... It? You know what? Since the humans were experimenting on the solver, could they have brought Tessa? Like, maybe she wanted to... F like, she wanted to help figure out what was going on. Could she have been a part of this uh, testing and everything? And if the humans were like influenced by the solver, could Tessa have been and could Tessa now to fulfill what the humans had started, she goes to sacrifice Uzi, which would be the precious blood slash oil for what the solver needs. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, oh, something, um, I, Tessa, I love your character and stuff, and I love her voice, but 
Nah, sassy, sassy. <laughs> and also, I know if people, some, some of you have said that, uh, you know, but she bled in episode five, and, you know, if she's not human, how would she bleed? Well, we've already seen the red goopy blood fleshy stuff that the solver can produce. Like, it turns stuff into organic matter. So if Tessa is half, let's say, solver organic material, but half machine, her getting bit, that would explain the goopy red that comes out of her. Not to mention, it was always weird to me that she, like, got bit and a lot came flooding out, and then it stopped not long after. Like, I'm sorry, you get your hand bitten by a raptor, like, that much, and so much blood comes out, that doesn't... You'd bleed out, first off. Um, but never mind that, because animated cartoon, maybe we're not being realistic with that, but another thing is there would be a hole in her suit, so she'd either die of lack of oxygen, die of blood loss, or she would die to the toxic air that's getting into her suit, um, but she doesn't, and you see the blood flow stops, like, pretty fast, and then for some reason, near the end of episode six, she goes, oops, there goes my mitosis, and she flings a whole bunch of blood again, like, like, huh? How did your blood activate again? And no, she didn't cut her her hand back open. I've already analyzed that part. Because it looks like she does the way she twirls it. But the the sword never makes contact like, anywhere near her hand. So it just starts flowing again. And I'm like, if she's an organic machine hybrid, she could probably control the flow. Um. Yeah, this shot. This is really lending to Tessa being not what no no trust tessa 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 ye ye no and i was hoping i was wrong because i wanted tessa to be good i wanted tessa to turn out to be not like what she might be what i think she might be um god what is the interaction here with uzi and tessa like i've already seen so many fan arts of like tessa killing uzi and stuff but i what if, what, you know what, actually, instead of Tessa confronting Uzi, what if Uzi goes to Tessa and says to kill me? Like, she goes, kill me. I don't want to be the next host. I don't want to be the cause of everyone's death kind of thing. That would be sad. Uh, that one, <laughs> that one, no. Don't want to think of that. Um, okay, so, oh, wait. So you have, oops. <laughs> so you have this shot of her in front of the screen. Oh, wait, 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 wait a moment. You have this other shot that I mentioned with her. You have that, this one, right here. No, no. Not you, in. Wait, was it after this? There, this one. And then the light turns on. Yeah, no, I found the shot. Okay, so this is the first shot. Her thing is on. Could she be controlling that screen? Or is the screen affecting her? Yeah, okay, so that shot leads is what probably leads to this. Wait, shurikens? The last time we saw shurikens or ninja stars was in episode two. And N had them. When uh, he used it to cut Thad free from the whole spooky snake crab, uh, Jay. So I wonder, but there's no end in sight. And again, these are the same kind of consoles that we saw in episode six as well as uh, episode four. JC Jensen in space. I love how they still have stuck with the in space. Um, but yeah, that's interesting that it's. Ninja stars. That are, this is either from N, or this is just a reference to that, like as a joke kind of thing. Lucy looks like she's in a trance though. And I don't think she's controlling anything. Oh wait, wait, we got to see the pause? Ooh, wait. Is this what, is this where they get the idea for the cross? Okay, so this is a solver holding up the cross. These are human hands. These are not drone hands. These are human hands. Oh my god. <laughs> the dog. That's the one thing I saw was the dog. Who, who is doing this? It's obviously gotta be a drone. Because. 
or at least a host of the solver because they've got this. Wait, what are they holding this up to? There's something behind it. So, but I wonder if this is where they get the idea for Uzi to hold the the cross. This dog does not appear in the episode. Feast your eyes while you can. <laughs> I wonder, is this is this Liam's actual dog? If Liam has a dog, which I'm sure he would, considering he loves him so much. Um, that or it's one of the animators. That'd be hilarious if it's one of the animators ones. That's cute. <laughs> That's not, well, it would be kind of random if they had a dog like this in there. Like, okay, we had the, like, photos and stuff like that of, like, the humans and everything. But why would this just, why a dog, why would a dog appear like this randomly? I love that. <laughs> oh, wait. The shot. They changed it. It looks different than the original teaser. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. The shot with her standing here. This looks like... I can't tell with the floor. It's too covered in, like, oil, blood, or whatever. To really tell if it's the same kind of floor throughout the cathedral. But this looks this looks like the same flooring from um, this shot. Yeah, this is the same flooring from this shot. So I wonder, God, there's a lot right there. So I wonder with this, hmm. Why is it shot differently? I just can't see like, okay, it's been November, December, January, February, March. It's been four months, so a lot can change. They could change the way they shot it and everything. But if it's not changed, could this just be like a memory? Could this be your... I don't know. This is strange. Okay, I'm just going to go off the premise that this is just a reshot. Like, they just redid the shot. And so that's why it looks different. But it'd be interesting if this... If it isn't a remade shot. If this is, like, just a different viewpoint from somebody else's eyes. Because we got the red tinge and everything. So... Actually, you know what? When we saw the red tinge last time, wasn't it through Doll? Like, Doll made V see the flashback of... V killing her parents. It was all in red, I believe. No way. Yeah, wasn't it? Hold on. Where is that? There, right out here. Yeah, it was in red. Wait. It was in red. So could it be? Could this whole entire sequence be a f either a flashback or could Doll be seeing the future? Could Doll be seeing the future, or is this Yiva? Because Yiva could possibly be able to do this too. I'm wondering, could they, could Doll or Yiva be like showing them what will happen to avoid it or something like that? Because it's weird to me that we had stuff in normal color, like the typical yellow gold, like what I would expect it, but then it's in red. Like all, like from uh, after like the flesh whole thing, everything's in red after this. Hmm. I wonder what happened to Uzi here, too, because she's using the cross to get back up. Could she have literally grabbed the cross through the screen? No, that, that seems a little weird to me. I really feel like... I really feel like... Who would give it to her? Could it be if she watched the video, it shows the cross, it shows who had the cross, so then she can get it from them, I think. Or she finds the body that had it, maybe? The location? Mm, I, 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 this is gonna be this is gonna be an amazing episode i can feel god how far we've come with this series like if you showed me the first pilot i would have never thought this is where it was gonna lead to uh, whether this is the season finale or the series finale i still think fully think it's gonna be the season finale not series finale because they have still not said that otherwise um but god this has gone in a way i never would have expected from even episode two just oh okay so you got this shot wait okay wait 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 wait. so that's the entrance to and it's got windows does the cathedral have windows it does the cathedral does have windows okay so that why does it change to red i'm really starting to think this is nori or, or not nori but this is either doll or yiva's flashback or flash like seeing the future
Because that's the same door. But now everything is red on the inside. And not yellow, like we see. God, this is... I. Could this be a flashback to prior? Could this... This this really might be a flashback to prior. Because we also saw the humans still being alive and that's all red. So I wonder if Doll or Eva is showing Uzi possibly an N? Maybe both? What happened that led to this? And then current is like the yellow? Because like Eva and Nori were standing in front of the door and it was yellow. So, why is the door opening there? Why, why is the door opening there? Nori. Wait, Nori actually looks scared here, doesn't she? Which is really weird. Nori has always looked confident. Yeah, she's always looked confident and like she was never scared. It was Yiva that always looked scared. So Nori looks scared here. Could this be before she had the solver? Or no, what if this is after when Nori started losing her mind or going cookie? So this was when after. This would fit more actually. This was when she started to possibly lose her mind. Yeah. This is the outside world. Wait. There's drones bodies here. What is going on here? This is outside the cave. This is like, this is copper nine. Like, I mean, it's on copper nine, the cabin fever and everything on copper nine, but this is a surface of copper nine. And everything is floating. And there's, that's either drone bodies or two alive drones are probably about to be killed. And with his, so are we gonna get feral in? I was hoping for him to go feral, but why is, why are you going feral? And your eyes are X, so... You know it would be scary if this was N and he had the, uh... Um... If this was N and he had the, uh... Freaking solver symbol. I'd be like, oh, something's happening now because he got the solver symbol instead of his X. Oh, so that is in right. I want to make sure I got the hairstyle right. Not that this possibly might be someone else. Because he got the sweep here and the short hair here. I'm pretty certain that's N. <laughs> but I want to make absolutely sure. Yeah, no, that's that's his sweep right there. Right? Because he got yeah, it's definitely not Yeah, it's not J's. J's has completely different bangs. It's not V. That'd be really random if it was V. So yeah, that's that's I want a close up shot of N please. No. Here, here no. Stop it! Okay, so you got... Yeah, that's... That's... Yeah, that's... That's his bangs! Why are you... What is making you go for a loan? It looks... Wait. This face of his? Is my boy about to get possessed by something? Because his grin here is not his usual wide grin, his toothy grin. This is almost like a half grin or a smirk. And he also, there's, I think, some oil on his lips. Like, right about here, by his mouth. There's, like, oil. Uh, I mean, we know, okay, we have the merch uh, that got leaked. But we already knew for the murals, the battle murals, that the first one has been V, second is Uzi's, and then the third one was supposed to be Ends. Could this be what leads to the third up, the eighth episode? Is N going AWOL or whatever happens to him here? Imagine it turns in instead of Uzi becoming the like main host and everything. It's N. You know, I had a theory too that the solver might want N because the way it like, like there's been some like binary codes that say N, but we figured it stood for null. Um, but. There's also the fact that, like, the way that at the end of episode six, the way Sin or the Solver took over and made it go miss me, like, 
it felt pretty like why would it target like why does it care about n why would it target and mess with him like why what does it matter you're just gonna kill him anyway probably right and, and use him as material aren't you so it kind of felt like the solver had something out for n and i wonder if he could be possibly it's perfect host or it's preferred host over even uzi or it was the N N. That's one way for them to be a couple. <laughs> Destroy the world. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, something feels off about this. It doesn't feel like feral N. Like N just like how we've seen him. This looks like it might be possessed N. I don't like that. Who are you? That's a human. Yeah, that's a human with a headlamp. Oh, uh, okay. So this is the this is the human we saw that was walk not walking, but we were seeing from their viewpoint the um the all the humans in the lab or in the lab outfits and stuff uh, and everything. Also, why are you your lab outfit is different from the others? Why are you a main like a manager or something like that or a head up or a leader of the group? I know. Um. Okay. No, I love you dearly. Love you dearly. But this video is gonna be long enough as it is. So please. Please, please, for love fight. I need you to go. Shush you. Shush you. Um, I think I just got here on myself. Whoops. Um, okay, so you got the dinosaur claw, which we've already seen the solver does have. But this one's much bigger, it seems like. I mean, we know the hollow spooky snake crab one is, uh, the hollow spooky snake crab J in episode two had it too, because that's what it grabbed. Uh, Uzi's head with and slammed her up against the one of those cryopods. But I really feel like this is gotta be. Wait, 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 wait. We can see the name tag, Doctor Chambers. Doctor Chambers. So this is a doctor. So this is guy. Okay. So the other ones must have been like lower. This is a doctor, Doctor Chambers. Okay. Well, we haven't heard anyone named Doctor Chambers yet. Hmm. Doctor Chambers. Hmm. Okay, so that would've been funny if there was something like mentioned before, but I don't. I I haven't fully analyzed episode six yet, like to extreme degree. <laughs> so I don't know if his that name's mentioned at all. But Doctor Chambers, they couldn't be the one that interviewed Nori, could it? I'm really quick. You guys are kind of like seeing me analyze like multiple things at once. Ah, uh, where is it? Uh, where are you? Where is the screenshot? See that? That's the one I'm talking about. Redacted with Tessa. Why was she redacted too? Unless she died? Or died later on? Mm, I'll ignore that for now. Actually, wait. Was this shot behind this? Was this the same doctor possibly? Okay, I need that shot of Nori being interviewed by that. Yeah, see, there's no name tag, so you can't see. So, yeah, I don't think this Dr. Chambers was ever, like, brought up. Um. Wait. This looks like it's frozen. Nah, the way this is refracting and like looks like dig like digital refraction. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Nah, I just noticed that. The refraction, you actually see what looks like the inside of this and it looks like machine. I mean, that's really showing the solver is a mixture of machine organic. What happened to your eye, Uzi? Could N have done this? Wait. There's that shot of N with blood. Let's say blood. With oil on his mouth. That could be not from biting. Could that be from him getting possessed and attacking Uzi? Because Uzi's covering her eye. And I'm sure that squirt or spurted, whatever you want to call it. It actually looks thicker than oil i mean it could be oil it probably is but it also looks like it could be the blood goop stuff and since we were i already said that how uzi is coughing up that stuff it wouldn't be odd 
to say that maybe the inside of her oil is becoming a mixture of both. So this looks more thick than oil. God, this could this be the follow up? Could these two shots be follow ups? That's why. And if this is what's happened, like N just did that, that would explain why Uzi looks like she does. Like, okay, granted, she probably would be in pain, but she looks almost like, yeah, you know, she's holding her arm. She's. See, what's hard too is I wonder if they did this on purpose because this is all in red. You can't tell like hand light colors. You can't tell what colors are going on. So you can't tell who's being influenced by yellow or not. Granted, N's always yellow, so <laughs> you wouldn't know. But, like with Uzi at least. And it's interesting. In episode six, the photo I even just showed um, with Nori and Yiva, Yiva was holding the same eye. It's the right eye. It was the like that. So, what's going on with your what? So Yiva did the same thing. So why? What happened here? You either did it to yourself, which I don't think's the case. It could be Tessa attacking her. Could be N. What is going on? Oh! Could it be Doll? Hi, Doll! I was expecting to see you here, girl. I was wondering if you're gonna be in this episode or not. I mean, you should be, considering you're a main point. Wait, so did. That would be ironic, considering. You know what would be ironic? If Nori stabbed Yiva in the eye, and then later on. Uzi, Nori's child, daughter, gets stabbed in the eye by frickin' doll who's Eva's daughter. <laughs> Can you imagine? What if we what if they get a flashback showing like the full that full, like instead of it just being a photograph, what if it's an animated scene of Eva getting stabbed in the eye by Nori? Doll sees it, gets pissed, and is like, you know what, fine, I'll stab you in the eye to get back from my which is would not be right. I mean, come on. Also, this is probably the most angry we've seen doll. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if this is the follow-up shot. Instead of N. It'd still be... Uh, I mean, you don't know what they're going to pull with this. It could be N. But considering this is a follow-up shot right after that, it would fit that it would be dull. And it looks like she's probably yelling or something, but what's here? This... this Whatever's in the foreground here, I can't tell. Because this, it, they may be trying to trick us and go, oh yeah, this is what happens. Doll, uh, Uzi's eye is injured because of Doll. But this could be a completely different shot. And Doll could be yelling at whatever, the solver or something. Who knows? I mean, it could be, who knows? If V comes back and V is alive, Doll could be fighting her. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, fleshy, goopy... Bone-ridden tunnel of horrors. Anything else, or is that it? That was it. Man, they packed a lot in those quick frames. Two weeks. Two weeks. Gives, gives me enough time to... Well, I'm gonna have episode 5 done before... Uh, like, within... But I, I'm pretty... like nine, I'm like 95% certain I'll have it done before the Sunday. So I'll get it to you guys by then. Um, but... I really would like, I'm glad it's two weeks from now for episode seven, because that will definitely, should give me enough time to do a Things I Noticed video on the teasers for, uh, I mean, I pretty much already kind of did an analyzation of, analyzation of this teaser, but I'll still do a Things I Noticed for it, as well as teaser images, as well as the teaser, um, the original teaser we got from Glitch X. Um, though I kind of wonder if that one's wiped now because of this, because it seems like some shot, well, the shot of Uzi getting up with the cross seems changed. Um, but I still probably will. Um, but, yeah, that, 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 <sighs> this is going to be using an episode. And, and god dang, the animation team, this, hats off to you guys already. I, I like, I'm sure I could wait till the episode to say this, but... This, this, you guys have really stepped up the animation. Like, this feels like a movie. This doesn't feel like, this is free on, gonna be free on YouTube? Like, actually free. This is like what belongs, this is what I expect from a TV network or like a big studio. Like Pixar, well, yeah, I would say like Disney Pixar kind of thing, maybe not when it comes to the humans, the humans look kind of still silly. But 
I could say it's just the style of the show, but everything else, God, this is, looks so good. This looks so good. This is gonna be such a good episode. This is probably gonna be my favorite episode. No matter what happens in it, like angst, tragedy, trauma, whatever happens in here, it's still gonna probably be my favorite just for animation alone and the backgrounds and the settings because they look insane. Like they've really, like they said they've been working on this for like since last year, like early like, last year and I could tell, see why. And that makes me wonder, what is episode eight gonna be like? Like that's been delayed, I think in a couple months. Like, what is that gonna have? Cause this already looks insane. This looks like enough content for two episodes. So the fact that this is gonna be in a single episode, granted we would, this is only 33 seconds, but there's so much shown in that way that, yeah, it, oh my God. It's, I'm so hyped for this episode. I have no idea. But um, yeah, when it comes to episode seven, um, what I'm gonna do is actually for the 20, and I'm glad they said the date too. They didn't just say next week or something or two weeks from now. They specifically said the 29th, but I, w I wish I kind of knew what time it's gonna be releasing. I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna be morning. Um, but either way, I'll be I'm gonna be there for the release because I know what the fandom <laughs> is. That well, I mean, this goes for a lot of fandoms, but like especially the murder on fandom, you guys are fast. So as soon as I'm not gonna like I would probably typically wait like a day or something or later in the day to react to an episode, but um uh for episode seven, I'm going to do a live stream two to three on YouTube on this channel. I'm going to do a live stream two to three hours prior to the episode's release. Uh, and I'm going to rewatch the series. Um, so hoping you guys would join me for that. Cause that'd be fun. If we all do like a rewatch of the series, maybe talk about theories, uh, predictions or whatever, um, what's going to happen. Uh, not really so much the ending of the series. Cause I still don't look at this as the ending of the series. I still feel this is, there's gonna be a season two. Um, I really hope there is, uh, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to hold a live stream two to three hours before, two to three hours, not that I mumbled that together, two to three, two to three hours prior to the episode's release. Uh, so that'd be fun if you all join. Um, but yeah, in terms of this teaser trailer, I think I've gone on a lot. It's been an hour. <laughs> How to turn a 30 second clip into an hour video. Only, only I could do that with analyzing this teaser to death like I mean granted I've also spent 50 plus hours on episode 5 so it's not that hard to imagine <laughs> and there's a lot that happened in this teaser alone like just so much stuff shown that yeah anyway I would usually go into my thoughts hours, but I pretty much did that um but uh yeah uh those are my thoughts for this teaser uh hold on let me let me do this uh, let me get rid of this so it doesn't Look like I'm just holding on to that. Um, but yeah, um, that summarizes my analyzation and thoughts for this video. Uh, but uh, I hope you enjoy this reaction and analyzation, mainly an analyzation. No, I guess a reaction because I was reacting to the frames because a lot of them I didn't even see. <laughs> During my initial, my first watch, I had to literally go frame by frame to see, see it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you like early access to my full unedited reactions, go join my Patreon. Uh, I'll put a link to it right about here. Um, but yeah, anyway, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, and keep ring bright. See ya.